sign on your way in or out of downtown Fort Wayne showing you just how fast you're going. As Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Corinne Rose explains now, it's a collaborative measure between the city of Fort Wayne and Fort Wayne Community Schools to raise awareness about speed in school zones, which could turn into a police crackdown if speeding continues. We all know that there's problems with people running, going too fast in school zones, disobeying stop arm violations, all that. This is just one thing that we can partner with Fort Wayne Community Schools, make the community just a little bit safer. 15,000 vehicles drive on Washington Boulevard and another 15,000 on West Jefferson Boulevard near Washington Elementary School every day. To try to improve safety in that school zone, last spring for a week, city traffic engineers put out a radar sign showing drivers their speed to see whether it would make a difference. We had average speeds during morning school drop off of 30 to 35 miles an hour. On that Friday, it was down to 23, which is a huge improvement. That's almost a 10 mile an hour drop in speeds. So the idea is this, hopefully this is, encourages the same behavior and this will be more permanent throughout the whole city. Encouraged by that success, Fort Wayne Community Schools paid for two movable radar speed signs that are installed right now on Washington and Jefferson to see if they generate the same results. The district paid about $5,000 for the set to generate awareness for drivers no matter which school they're near. Where do we know that we have chronic issues with people speeding uh, through the area? So there could be a residential school where, you know, maybe it's not a lot of traffic, but we see routinely people are just going too fast by the school. The radar speed signs will remain in the West Central neighborhood for the rest of the week, then be moved to another school for a week and so on. When they're brand new, people notice them and then after a while they are not going to get a ticket they don't care so keep moving it around keep making people aware and hopefully they'll get the message the display will not show higher speeds to prevent drivers from trying to see how fast they can go and the signs only flash drivers speeds during school time however it will collect speed data 24 hours a day this is great for us that we can kind of get an idea the amount of traffic the speeds that people are going and then that information as well, if we do find that there's a problem, we can get that information to Fort Wayne Police Department. So even though the radar signs don't take pictures of your car or license plate, too many speeders in the area could mean police enforcement. Corinne Rose, Fort Wayne's NBC. Yeah, and if drivers resume speeding near Washington Elementary School, we understand those radar signs will go back up in the area to try and keep things safe for students.